Hello all and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this particular video, we're going to be discussing about a new augmentation library which is being given by Facebook AI team, which is known as Augly. So Augly consists of all kinds of data transformations, image transformations, text transformation categories, which you can use it for your model or even for your data set and transform your data set into different uh, transformations which is being provided by the Augly and you can use it in your model. So this is the importance of the augmentations uh, so that you can prepare more data from your small data set and you can you can variate the data set according to the augmentations and that will increase the robustness of the model so that the AI model cannot be fooled by any kind of different images and cannot give the wrong uh, predictions so that you uh, so that you can prepare the model in a more robust manner and it should be feature proof for all kind of different kind of transform transformed images which are generally present uh, in the real world so when you have a less number of data then you can use such kind of augmentations library for improving the model and th th that's how you increase the uh, number of uh, data and this is how you do so Augly has all kind of these things supported inside into this library and it has uh, four kind of uh, sub libraries so you can use it for image augmentation, text augmentation, voice that is audio augmentations and even for the video augmentation. So these all four things are being integrated into this Augly library and you can use it for your augmentation on the basis of the data set you have. So if you have image data set, so you can use uh, image augmentation. If you have text data, then you can use text augmentation. If you have video data, you can use for video augmentation. If you have uh, audio, then you can use audio augmentation. So these all things are composed inside the Augly library and you can use this a single library for your different kind of tasks. So you can go over the uh, internet and you can search on uh, this library and you can get a different uh, kind of uh, uh, representations and uh, this is the actual uh, page from Facebook AI and you can get it and understand and read the blog so that you can get a bet better understanding of the ugly so uh, you can see for this image augmentation we have this input image and this input image has been transformed into these many things so even they have prepared a different kind of uh, transformation by their own such kind of transformation such, such as like a uh, screenshot you're seeing this image but you can see it has a different augmentation been done that is an overlay of screenshot has been imposed on it and you can see a this kind of image has been generated even you can see this is the input image and this is the extra uh, text which has been added to this image and saturation level transformation crop transformation rotate transformation blurness brightness so, so varieties of transformations are available these are, these are just an example of it hundreds of transformations are being added to this Oakley library so these transformations are regarding the images so if you go to the text so this is the text you will be giving to the Oakley library and here you can see it has replaced the the text with uh, different punctuations so you can see it has uh, added a punctuation between the h and e you can see and even with, between that the comma quick so this is how the punctuation are being added and you are just augmenting the data set or uh, that is text data set and even you can see this is the input and this is the new transformation which has applied to the, this input that is uh, did it simulate the typos that means this is a real sentence and it initiates the uh, typos in it that is the error so if you see the has been it is, has been written with teh quick has been written with some different uh, word so it has replaced some uh, with different kind of letters inside it and it has generated a typo similarly if you see a uh, different kind of transformation which is provided by the text so it, it replaces the similar character so if you see the is replaced with the seven or uh, and quick has been replaced with something different kind of uh, uh, annotation so this is how it is doing so these are the just examples of text augmentations and similarly you can go and uh, read about it inside their github page so this is the how, how the github page of that how you looks like and you can go into this github page and click on these sections for which you are looking for uh, so right now we will discussing about the image so we'll go into this image and later we'll discuss about the text augmentations 
so once you click on this image a link will open and you can see different kind of uh, uh, implementations which can be performed it so you can use this function base or class base so function base means you can you directly use this function so these are nothing but a uh, uh, different kind of transformation so you can use this uh, transformations as a function uh, once you import this uh, ugly library into your moment and you can directly use this uh, uh, this kind of functions uh, this this kind of transformation as a form of functions and you can also use this uh, particular uh, uh, transformation in in a form of class so you can use multiple uh, transformations and club it and you can use it on your data set so this is how the class base works so we'll discuss about this once we get on to the code part so this was just a general introduction about the ugly uh, for image augmentation later on we'll see for the text augmentation so to install ugly library we have to install ugly with some dependencies on it so if you run this uh, particular cell it would take around five minutes to install it and once you install it you have to restart the runtime once the re uh, runtime has been installed you can run further uh, cells of this code so that it will work otherwise it will uh, not work for your scenario so once you uh, run this particular cell then uh, wait for the runtime or restart the runtime and once that is done then you can uh, import these dependencies from ugly library so we are using uh, ugly.image as image augments and import ugly.utils as utils and we are using uh, ipython to display the images or the augmentation that has been performed by the ugly library so we have this uh, a, a general uh, input that is example input image uh, inside this ugly library so we are just using that so it is present in this utils which you are just importing it so we are just using that test image and once this test test image path is being loaded so we are just uh, taking an image aux that is being a ugly library image augmentation where all kind of functions are present uh, that is all kind of uh, transformation are present over here so we are using directly that and we are applying the scale transformation over that particular uh, image so this is what we are doing over here so we are taking this image aux but scale and we are applying this particular uh, uh, image and we are giving some uh, parameters for scaling so we are giving that okay it's 0.2 that is 0.2 probability of increasing the uh, increasing or scaling the uh, image so this is a transformation a single transformation uh, and this is a functional based transformation because we're using transformation as a function uh, for transforming the image so this is what it is doing and once it is done then it will uh, store it in the variable and we are using a display from ipython to display the images so let's visualize this uh, once we run this code let's visualize the, uh, the transformations so you can see uh, this is a transformation means 20 percent scaling has been done and uh, this is how you apply generally uh, and this is how we say that it is functional based and even you can apply a different kind of uh, augmentations uh, like uh, it has many kind of augmentations this uh, ugly library has so you can see uh, i'm using mem underscore format so you can give a, a different kind of augmentation that is it will generate a meme and uh, if you give an input image with different uh, uh, parameters inside it and you will find that it will generate a mean kind of character in it so you can see it has added a text to uh, the particular image and it is a mean so this is how it is uh, doing so this is how you can generate more data set just by taking a single image and there are various type of things like you, even you can provide the metadata to it and you can just uh, use the supple pixels that is a different kind of transformation you can uh, check it out and uh, if you give a different kind of metadata inside it so it will uh, do the uh different kind of things for it so it will go give the different metadata so it will provide a different kind of uh, output to it so you can see now it has distorted the image that is it has provided the greens in the image so this is how it has been done and all the kind of metadata uh, that is being hold inside this uh, particular uh, uh, function so it is giving that all right so this is how it is doing and once uh, you you can see that this is a, 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 a functional based kind of uh, uh, transformations we are doing till now and similarly you can see this is also functional base so let's do a one more transformation which is perspective transform and this is how we do generally yeah for the functional base uh, 
you can use this kind of uh, transformation with uh, pytorch transforms which we generally do it when we run up uh, transformations inside the uh, pytorch so pytorch has that uh, transform.compose and in that particular compose uh, you can see uh, this is the pytorch form and you can just integrate all these transformations like how we do in the pytorch so pytorch uh, uses this dot compose and it has uh, it generally specifies all kind of transformation if you want to do in the, into the data so this is how we specify and at the end we specify that okay once the transformation done then save it to the tensor and this is how we do inside the transform and save all kind of tensor and then we perform the training of this model on these uh, transform tensors so this is how we do and this is how we integrate with uh, the uh, particular augmentation library that is ugly and the similar kind of things has been provided for the uh, uh, ugly so even if you see this uh, the same same code has been uh, uh, composed over here uh, that is formatted by the ugly so image orgs dot compose and the different kind of uh, transform has been added up to it and this time we don't have to convert into tensors once it is done you can directly uh, take this uh, uh, transformed images and pass in, inside this uh, augment of transformation which is generally prepared by using this and you can pass the image inside this particular uh, variable which has created so and you can use the display function to display the augmentation so this all augmentation which you have mentioned above that is saturation and overlay onto the screenshot so these all things has been applied so you can see an overlay that means a filtration has been applied to saturation level and everything has been increased and over that an screenshot has been added so you can see a social media kind of thing has been imposed over it so this is how the augmentation is working uh, parallelly and you can apply many more such kind of things uh, back to back uh, and you can use this uh, same kind of things over here in pytorch and you can generate these tensors by using this transform.2 tensors and you can just generate tensor and you can train on these tensors so uh, it's the similar thing uh, which i have done in a separate steps so you can just you can see that uh, this is the image or compose and i have added a different kind of uh, uh, transformation that is brightness and random notations and i have just uh, ran it and have saved it in, in these transforms and once this transforms uh, is ready i can use i can import a new image or load a new image and give this particular image to this transforms and it will increase the uh, brightness and random rot rot rotations of it so this is what it will do and it will save inside this org image and if you want the tensors for it so you can uh, what you can do is you can just give this uh, transform uh, like this you could define a function for transforms and uh, this is how you do and you can save in the form of tensors and you you pass that particular image inside this function which is uh, which is tensors based so you can you are getting a direct image that is transform image and even you are getting the uh, tensor image so this is what it does so org image is a pil image with your augmentation applied and org underscore tensor image is a tensor with your org image applied so this is a this consists of tensors and this consists of image so right now i'm displaying the image of it so let us run this code so you can see the different kind of rotations has been applied you can see the now the image has been tilted to some different uh, orientation so this is how it is done for uh, different kind of transformation and you can apply numbers of uh, transformation together and once this is done you can also do a uh, similar kind of things if you have image uh, not in a form of pil image and if you have that image in a form of uh, numpy array so even that can also be used over here in in ugly so they have provided an uh, numpy overlay uh, or wrapper over it and you can directly use this uh, image for uh, in a form of numpy array and it will return the similar augmentations in numpy array format so this is the uh, piece of code which you can use it and is how it has been done so in my next video i will be coming up with the text augmentation and we'll see how the text works over here in ugly so for this video this is what i had and i hope you enjoyed this video do subscribe the channel if you like the content i present to you thank you